This is the Odeon St Albans. Once a vibrant, well-loved cinema, now just a sorry reminder of its former glory. Closed for over a decade, it has been left to slowly deteriorate, its crumbling facade a sorry example of its neglect. The Odeon and the site it sits on are steeped in film heritage. Arthur Melbourne Cooper, one of the originators of the British film industry and a pioneer in his field, built his first cinema here in 1908. Known as the Alpha Picture Palace, it showed films produced by Cooper from across the road in his Alpha Trading Company studios. Unfortunately, this cinema burnt down in 1927. The Odeon was its replacement. Built in 1931, it is a fine example of 30s Art Deco, with a hint of the Egyptian in its design. For over 60 years, it served the local population, playing host to music concerts as well as film, only to be closed in 1995, leaving St Albans both without a cinema and a landmark building. This is uh, my great-grandfather's cinema, 1910 to 1920, who ran the cinema. My grandmother, my great-auntie, worked here uh, right through uh, their teenage years. My grandmother met my grandfather here uh, at a tea dance, and uh, it just seems incredible to me. I've only been doing the history since uh, I've heard it's going to be knocked down, and I'm absolutely staggered. Um, I came here with my girlfriend, now my wife, on one of my first dates. And uh, to me, I can't conceive of St Albans without the cinema. It's a landmark. It's something you see every time you drive into St Albans. I remember when um, the first James Bond film came out, Doctor No, um, people were queuing halfway up London Road. Uh, to try and get in because it was so popular and I, I did queue with him and I did see it. Now it's fate is to be decided. There are two scenarios. One where the cinema is flattened to make way for another faceless block of flats or two it's restored to its former glory by the owner of a successfully restored cinema, the Rex in Berkhampstead. My name's James Hannaway um, and this is my house. We opened on the 5th of December 2004. It's now the 14th of December 2006. And we've had two remarkable, extraordinary years. Um, where we've played to packed houses and people, everybody books in advance because they have to, just to get in. Um, I thought it would work and I hoped it would be exciting and busy, but I don't think any of us expected what's, what we have now. I think the Rex is outstanding success. It's packed out every single evening. It's unique. It's the most beautiful cinema in Britain, and it shows a variety of uh, children, uh, art house films, uh, blockbusters, and it's just an entertainment every evening. Well, my name is Marion Hammond and I'm on the committee of the St Albans Civic Society. When something like the future of the Odeon came up, we alerted the public to what was likely to happen to it. We did get it locally listed. So in a way, you could see that that's worked because it's 11 years, that building has not been developed into anything. Um, it's still in the local plans that you, you know, that, sh that is still the local cinema, even if it isn't used. I've already put a bid in for it. Uh, she says she would love to see the Rex Cinema from St. Albans. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> it would be really quite nice to have a small cinema down there. Let's just hope there's an angel looking over this building, as it's going to take a miracle to save it.